Hi, my name is Sean Bianca, and I'm GOP Girl of GOP Girl Blog. I have a message that I want everyone to get out and to get it out now. Mr. Kazir Khan is a proponent of Sharia law. He lives by Sharia law, not by the law of the Constitution of the United States. Please read my blog today. Mr. Kazir Khan, Sharia law is not the laws of our Constitution. I want everyone to share this video and I want everyone to read my blog and share that as well. He is a co-founder of a journal of Islamic law. Uh, it's not that I have it in my blog, the exact journal that he is a co-founder of and he is a huge proponent of Sharia law. So therefore, when Donald Trump was mentioning how his wife wasn't speaking, Donald Trump was probably correct. Actually, I'm sure he was probably 99.9% .9 correct. The woman did not speak because she is not allowed to. Because Mr. Kazir Khan is not a moderate Muslim, he is a radical Muslim, in my opinion. And let me tell you, <laughs> I have dealt with men that are radical Muslims that live in this country that like to say that they are moderate Muslims. I had a couple of men, a man, a man that I taught tennis to, actually they were brothers. One of the men, they were Persian, and one of the men's wives wanted to play tennis, and so I said to the man, I said, you know, your wife mentioned that she would like to play tennis someday. And the man told me, my wife has no business playing tennis. She will never play tennis. This is a man that had lived in the United States for quite some time. This is a man that did not wear the burqa himself or the hajib or however you pronounce it. I really don't care. And this is a man that clearly is a radical Muslim. Mr. Kazir Khan is nothing more than a con man. How apropos. Mr. Kazir Khan got up on that stage to trash Donald Trump and nothing more. And let me tell you, I've about had it with the media coming out and, say, and telling this story again and again and again. Because why didn't they tell of, why didn't they tell a, of the Republican convention when Sean Smith's mother, who lost her son in Benghazi due to Hillary's not sending more protection for the men in Benghazi. Sean Smith's mother didn't get this airtime. She got the airtime at the convention and nothing more. Does that mean that a true American, not an immigrant, does that mean that an American that was born here, does that mean that his life is worth less than the life of a man that lives under Sharia law? Now, I'm sorry for Kazir Khan's death. However, I have had it with the media. I have had it with Fox. I have had it with MSNBC. I have had it with CNN. I have had it with all of you. If you're gonna give this much airtime to a Muslim immigrant, then give as much time to an American, a true American. This is not right. This is just trash talk against Donald Trump and nothing more. And I'm telling you, as an American, I am ashamed of this country. I am ashamed that the media has been bought by the Democrats. And that's what it is. The Democrats own the media. Will someone speak up? Someone. Because four men died in Benghazi. And God damn it, if you're going to devote Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning to Mr. Kazir Khan, who believes in Sharia law and has no right to speak of the Constitution, of which Hillary Clinton does not follow, nor does Mr. Kazir Khan, then devote some time to the men of Benghazi and devote some time 
favoring Donald Trump. I stand with Donald Trump because I stand with America. I want America to be the country that it once was. I want America to be free and great again. Everyone, check out my blog, www.gopgirlblog.blogspot.com. And this is Sean Bianca with Clean TV Live. Until next time.